I got very emotional watching Once Upon a Studio. If you love Disney, if you grew up with Disney, if you are thankful for the magic that Disney has brought into your life, you need to watch this. Over the course of about eight minutes, so many Disney characters begin to gather together, making their way through the Disney Animation Studio building to go outside to take this group photo to celebrate Disney's 100 years. And what I love about this is the fact that we have so many Disney characters interacting with other Disney characters, characters who are not normally in the same films. They're not even from the same period of Disney films. And it just makes my heart sing so much. And I was a little worried that it would mostly be a lot more contemporary characters, but actually there are a lot of classic characters in there and I truly adored every second of it. The only thing I didn't like is the music or lack thereof. I feel like they could have done something to bring together a mashup, an instrumental mashup of different Disney songs and made it a little bit more engaging to listen to. It wouldn't have really overshadowed the character speaking as long as it was in the background quite gently. But unfortunately, there's just nothing to listen to, really, and the characters aren't always talking. So I feel like this, the, the audio just isn't as good as it could be. But visually, it is so stunning, and seeing them all together just made my heart sing so much. And as I said, as I'm sure many people will, I got a little bit emotional. Because like many people, Disney helped raise me. I grew up watching Disney videos constantly. I am obviously a big Disney fan now. I have reviewed probably thousands of Disney things at this point on my channel. And I'm pleased that this one is now in our lives as well. Because Once Upon a Disney is short but beautiful. And it packs in so much magic into a really short space of time. And my favourite moment, aside from the group shot, and I guess this is a tiny spoiler for something that happens, so this is the last thing I'll say. To sum up briefly, the animation is stunning. The music should have been better. They could have done so much more with the music, or lack thereof, and even if they had just focused on the music at the end, because something does happen with the music at the end, they could have stopped the music quite abruptly when something happens towards the end that changes the mood and then brought the music slowly back in. So it could have worked. I know some people might say, yes, but we had music at the end and it might have overshadowed it. It wouldn't have done because they could have stopped it abruptly and used that as a, a turning point and used sound effects there as a turning point to show the shift in mood. You'll know what I mean when you see it. But aside from that... It was absolutely stunning. If you're a Disney fan, I promise you're going to adore it. So the tiny spoiler, the bit that kind of choked me up, it's the bit when Mickey looked up at the picture of Walt Disney. And it's just incredible to think that, yes, obviously Disney over the years has grown and it you know, has become, a well, it very quickly became a team effort and the teams have grown and grown. And there are so many thousands of people over the years who we have to thank for this Disney magic. But to think it all started with Walt Disney and it all started with his imagination. And to think that one man has, I would argue, changed the face of children's animation, of family films, of entertainment, of theme parks... I don't think there's an area of pop culture that Disney hasn't influenced. And to think that this all comes from that one man and Mickey looking up at him in that brief moment with love and admiration and gratitude is exactly how I felt and I think how a lot of Disney fans will feel. Once Upon a Studio is absolutely beautiful and thoroughly worth watching.